Hey everyone, we're in the shop making progress on the Dark Era 1. We have a lot of exciting projects going on. Let's check some of them out. Some more progress on the control system. We have the control stick grip mounted up. And what that involved was building this little component here that's made out of carbon fiber. Uh, this component was something that kind of stumped me in the design process and so I built up this temporary version uh, to test the whole idea. So this is made out of uh, a couple sections of 8th inch carbon plate and then there's a segment of carbon fiber tube bonded into it that allows the stick to mount into the rest of the control system so you can see the uh, motion of it. And uh, I don't have the ailerons hooked up right now but you can see the pitch control with the elevator so I'll move those. So you can get kind of the idea of the stick motion and the range of motion of this piece of the control system. Uh, next step will be to make the final version of this. So I'm um, happy with this concept. I'm gonna have these uh, CNC cut out now and uh, make the pilot and co-pilot side and then install those. I also need to uh, install some spacers in here. You can see there's a little motion in there so those spacers will uh, limit the travel of that left and right. And then there's a little bit of a cutout I need to make here to uh, increase the clearance at the uh, far inboard segment of travel. So after that, we'll be able to install the grips on both sides and have a full-fledged control system. Hey there, my name is Carter. I'm the new intern here at Dark Arrow. Uh, today I've been cutting out two foot by two foot squares for our new carbon plates. You can see them all stacked up right here. We've just been mass producing them with this new weave that we got specifically for uh, plates because they uh, don't need to be oriented in a specific way. Uh, and it's also a lot thicker and stiffer, so it makes it way easier to cut. Basically how that process works is I roll it out onto this scrap of polycarbonate so I don't damage the router table. And then I take the rotary cutter and I uh, go through the center of my tape lines so that it keeps a nice clean edge. And then once I get all of these cut out, we'll be uh, infusing them and then machining them out for components for the plane. We have been making more progress on the new canopy plug. The canopy plug is made from tooling board. We route this tooling board out into 2D sections and then bond those sections together into layers that then get routed again to create the final plug. I really wish we could show more here, but since we are working with airplane plastics to manufacture the canopy and a lot of their manufacturing process is secret, the plug design is confidential. We're here inside the cockpit of the Dark Air One with our wiring harness. The last time you saw this wiring harness, it was on the side of our oven where I created a one-to-one -one scale map of the fuselage so that we could lay the wiring out without having to be inside the fuselage itself. So what we're doing here is fitting it all up and seeing if it matches up with the map that was on the oven. So kind of walking you through what you're looking at here, you've got kind of the central bundle that runs to the avionics that sit between the front baggage space and that talks to avionics that sit here, as well as the avionics that will sit inside the instrument panel that go up here. All of the wiring you see here will run to the firewall where it splits off between the engine bay and our pilot and co-pilot sides, with the bulk of it going to uh, the pilot side running all the way to the back of the plane. We've got this bundle here that runs along the armrest here. Uh, some of it goes up to our control stick here where it will interface with the push to talk button as well as our autopilot disconnect and our trim tab. Moving further back this way, we have the wiring that will interface with our main gear that will sit in this area. It'll also interface with our autopilot servos which go back here as well. Finally, we have our aft electronics plate which will sit up here where the remainder of the wiring will interface to there. 
The next step will be to permanently install all this wiring. For that, we have a combo of this click bond mount point as well as this P clip here. The click bond mount will glue to the side of the fuselage here, and the P clip will screw into that and secure around the wiring bundle like so. This combo will hold the wiring off the airframe to prevent any kind of abrasion that would occur if the wiring was sitting directly on the airframe so that the two surfaces don't rub against each other. One of the other big projects that we've been working on is the load test for the Dark Arrow 1 wing. Here it is sitting on the test stand unloaded. This is one of the most important tests that we've done right here and also one of the most nerve wracking. There were so many things that we had to do to make sure that we got this right. There was a lot that we had riding on this test. It wasn't just about showing that the wing could hold a lot of weight and was safe for flight. It was also about proving that our hollow grid structural solution actually works. We have put a tremendous amount of effort into designing this new wing structure. Leading up to the load test, we received a fair amount of questions and criticism. This load testing went a long way towards validating our work. There was a ton of footage we collected, including the planning and prep work, the setup of the equipment, our approach to loading the wing and collecting data. We had several cameras running from multiple different angles, capturing footage during the test, and we recorded a lot of good debrief footage as well. We are working on editing this footage into a series of videos. We actually have some of this footage already available on our new YouTube community page, along with some other good behind the scenes content. You can get there by clicking the join button down below on this video or finding it on our Dark Arrow YouTube homepage. All right, that's all we have for this video, but we have a lot more planned for future updates and future videos, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll catch you in the next video.